Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are back in the studio with Hamilton from Leica, and we've talked about building ballistic profiles for the Range Master and the Geovid. We've talked about transferring those profiles and just how easy of a process that is. And now to build on that even further, we're going to talk about a super cool new feature available specifically in the Geovid Pro AB Pluses. And with that being said, I'm gonna turn it over to Hamilton. Thanks, Jace. Yeah, um, I'm gonna start uh, screen recording here and show you how we can build on the profile that we built earlier that would work for any Pro product. Um, if we're specifically dealing with a, uh, a, a Pro AB Plus product, we can build that profile out even further. So earlier we built the um, 175 30-06 LRX profile, mm -hmm. and I can now go see the, the three dots to the right. I'll tap those, and I have the options for edit, delete, range card, targets, or shot probability analysis. That's SPA. That's the extra capability that this unit has. We're going to tap that, and okay, the, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to tell the system what kind of target we're looking at. As you can see on the screen, we've got an IPSC silhouette here. Okay, do I, am I shooting an Ipsic silhouette or am I shooting at an elk or a deer or a groundhog or something else? And so I'll tap the target type and all right, here it comes to changes to rectangle. I can now, because it's not a fixed size, what, what size rectangle is it? I can input that information. I can also um, change the, uh, the, the yardage from say 500 to 1000, all right? So, and that will affect the probability analysis, okay? Um, so it was, uh, I changed it from 500 to 1000, I'm gonna change the size of the target, I'm gonna cut, uh, uh, cut it in half. So I've doubled the distance and I've cut the, uh, the, the size of the target in half. Um, you can see that the, the, the bullet spread on the screen has changed um, for, for relative to the, the target size, how, how my group is gonna be spread out. Okay, I'm gonna, I can change again from rectangle to circle. I can change from there to, okay, look, a little prairie dog. Okay, the same shot, wow. spread, the, the same shot spread is overlaid on a different size target. Here for a coyote, you can see the, uh, all right, I've got a lot of bullets going to the coyote, but I've only got a few going to the, into the vitals. All right, look, same here for a deer or an elk. So the, 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 the likelihood changes as the target changes. So I set up my target for what I'm going to be shooting at. Next uh, is confidence parameters. Um, you're going to want to adjust that to custom uh, from low. I don't like the presets, low, medium, or high. I want to always put in my own data. So I'm going to go to custom. Range uncertainty. What is that asking me? It asked me, how accurate am I at ranging rank distance? Okay, um, even a laser rangefinder is not going to be absolutely pin pinpoint precise at a thousand yards. Like I make some of the best rangefinders in the world, but we'll tell you our plus minus accuracy at a thousand yards is five percent. So that's five yards at a um, at a thousand yards. Um, plus, um, sorry, sorry, it's not five percent. It's 05 percent, mm -hmm. half a percentage point. So that plus minus uncertainty for this thousand yard target is five yards for a half a percent plus minus. Okay. My crosswind uncertainty right now, it says one mile per hour at a thousand yards, even with a Kestrel, I'm nowhere close to as accurate as being plus minus one, one yard, mm -hmm. because while I might know exactly what the range, what the wind is at my shooter, shooter position, I'm not that great as judging the effects of crosswind and to or from wind downrange. I'm going to change that my crosswind uncertainty to three yards. And that would even there be, uh, you know, at the, at the absolute max of my capabilities. All right, what is my muzzle velocity uh, question mark here? This is, what is your spread of your muzzle velocity? Does your load have a, uh, a, 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 a deviation of 10 feet per second or three feet per second? That's gonna affect your vertical stringing, okay? Because mm -hmm. the, the more plus or minus you have, the more up or down your bullets will end up at, at, with how much more variation they'll have at distance. So I'm shooting a load that is actually very good, only has um, 3%, uh, excuse me, three foot per second um, in extreme spread, so I'm gonna leave that there. My rifle precision, it's a half MOA rifle, but I'm not a consistent half MOA shooter. Mm -hmm. I'm really more of a one MOA shooter, um, and that's on a good day, so I'm gonna believe um, one MOA as my data point for my rifle precision. It's not how accurate the rifle is, it is how accurate the system is with the shooter behind it. And if we don't put in accurate information, we're not gonna get an accurate prediction. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm, uh, I'm gonna leave this at one MOA because that is that, that, that is more, uh, more realistic. Okay, now if you, know, you notice back up here at the top now, as I changed those things, before I had a green, the PR parentheses, that's probability. Before it was green and it was in the 80s. Mm -hmm. But now that I've changed my, I've been honest with myself and I'm said I'm not a one mile per hour range wind, uh, wind, wind measurer and I'm not a, 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 a one yard or a thousand yards distance measurer, 
my probability of making a first round hit in the vitals on that elk at a thousand yards is now 22 percent not 80 something percent it's gone from green to red and i do not need to take that shot on that animal mm -hmm. I'm, no matter how good i think i am this, these are the cold hard numbers and this is helping me be a better uh, a, 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 be, a better hunter and a better sportsman is telling me not to take the shot if this were a steel play to be fine i'd be winging bullets all day long but mm -hmm. not on an animal i mean that is <laughs> that that's crazy that you all now have a system that are is it literally able to tell you your your hit percentage? Because, I mean, like you said, at the end of the day, it, it's nothing if you don't have an ethical yeah. shot on that game. And, man, I'm <laughs> I'm a little bit speechless on it. That's, uh, that's pretty wild. And just to use the example that we talked about off camera, you got a guy hunting an, an exotic animal for, you know, 100000 or, or or more dollars. Um, this system is going to tell them, hey, is this a $100,000 shot? So. It, it, it will. By chance, would I, ha would I have to look on the phone to find all this? Actually, no. You can look on the phone to find it if you want, but you can also um, program uh, now with AB Pluses. You have both um, uh, order and duration of data points that are programmable on, on the product. So you can you can have uh, the, the display elapsed time be one, two, or three seconds for each data point. Your first data point is always going to be your line of sight um, distance because it is a range-finding product. So we always are going to have that first. But then you can choose um, a custom order um, for uh, for three uh, three other data points, which would be your um, elevation correction, your wind correction, and your shot probability analysis uh, uh, data number. So um, basically, uh, for example, what the unit will do if you program it this way is you'll range a target at 800 yards. It'll say 18 and a half MOA of elevation, two and a half MOA right of wind, and then 88 percent likelihood of making the shot or 15 percent likelihood of making the shot but that 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 percentage likelihood number typically for most people will be the fourth data point they'll, they'll, they'll set up on the app and then once that's done again you can cut the phone off you don't have to have any connection with it the range finder is always going to display that data um as, as long as that, that program has been set in there man i am basically speechless at the uh, amount of information and stuff that y'all have been able to get out of this system you're you've essentially created a cheat code so you know at the end of the day as long as you've done your part and you put in good information if you uh if you miss that shot at the end of the day that, that was you thank you yeah <laughs> uh, we, we, we we've worked hard on it but we also have to give credit to our partners at applied ballistics they've done a great job with this uh, uh capability as well yeah yeah those guys are uh, amazing over there the the technicality that they put into this stuff is is nothing short of extraordinary um, guys, thanks again for sticking around and learning even more about these uh, awesome new products for, for Light, from Leica. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about anything you've seen today or anything else we carry, please don't hesitate to reach out. God bless. Thanks, y'all.